Southern California is home to the largest presidential library in the nation. Visitors can look at millions of pages of historic documents. They will also see a replica of the Oval Office and a real Air Force mm -hmm. One jet. In tonight's look at this, KCAL 9's Desmond Shaw takes us to the Reagan Presidential Library. Well, take a look at this complex in Simi Valley. This is the Reagan Presidential Library, and it's the repository of records for the 40th President of the United States, Ronald Reagan. Opened in 1991, it's the largest of the 13 federally operated presidential libraries and high atop the hill, according to the museum's website. It serves as a stand-in for Reagan's famous mantra of the U.S. being a shining city atop a hill. This is also where the president and first lady Nancy Reagan are both buried. Now, the library holds more than 60 million pages of documents, more than one and a half million photographs, more than 40,000 artifacts. And if you love aircraft, well, you're really in for a treat. Outside here, we have an F-14 Tomcat. There's also an F-117 uh, Nighthawk here. But perhaps the coolest and perhaps the reason why this is the largest of the libraries, the actual Air Force One that was used by President Nixon through George H.W. Bush is on display here inside the library. That Boeing 707 also served as a, as a backup Air Force One for Presidents Clinton and George W. Bush. And as we zoom in here, uh, it looks like one of the Marine One helicopters is on display right here. Here you can see the Air Force One poking out uh, right there. So Boeing actually had to disassemble the plane in Sa at San Bernardino Airport. They trucked it here in pieces, reassembled it inside of this building, and while they were at it, they also restored it to museum quality for everyone to enjoy. Very, very cool. And you're also going to find a replica of the Oval Office inside of the library, and there is also a piece of the Berlin Wall here on the west end of the courtyard. Obviously, the Berlin Wall uh, very much associated with President Reagan as well. There's mostly permanent exhibits, but there's also different rotating exhibits. So you'll want to go to the museum's website, reaganlibrary.gov, to learn more. Open from 10 a.m. till 5 p.m. most days of the year, and parking is free and plentiful. Taking a look at this from Sky 9, I'm Desmond Shaw. And if you'd like Desmond to take a look at something interesting in your neighborhood, just write us at lookatthis at cbs.com.